Hey there, econ students. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate a consumer price index or CPI using a very simple numerical example with the prices of consumer goods changing over a few years. Following this video, we're going to learn how to calculate inflation using the consumer price index. So be sure you make your way back to the playlist and watch the next video after completing this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and head over to econclassroom.com for more resources for econ students and teachers. In this video, we're going to introduce the consumer price index. Let's start with the definition of the consumer price index or the CPI. This is an index that measures the price of a basket of goods consumed by a typical consumer in a nation. The consumer price index is used to measure inflation over time. To better understand how the CPI works, we're going to use a very simple example here. Let's assume that in a particular country, the typical consumer only buys three goods in a given year. It buys socks, it buys Uber rides, and it buys hot dogs. Of course, this is an oversimplification. In a real country, consumers would buy all sorts of goods. For the simplified example, however, we're assuming that the typical consumer only buys these three goods. What we have here are the prices of each of these goods over three years in 2016, 2017, and 2018. What we're going to do is add up the prices in each of these years to come up with our price for the basket of goods over three years, and then we're going to calculate the CPIs for each of the years using 2016 as our base year. First, let's add up the total values of the basket of goods consumed by the typical consumer in each of the three years. What we can do now is calculate the CPIs, or the consumer price indexes, for each of these years. And the formula for the CPI is the price of the basket of goods in one year divided by the price of the same basket of goods in a base year. And since we are talking in terms of indexes, we must multiply this by 100 to get our consumer price index. So we can actually go ahead and calculate the CPIs for each of these years now. We know that the base year is 2016, so the CPI for the base year is super easy to calculate. It's $16 divided by the price of the same basket of goods in 2016, which is $16, times 100. So we get 16 divided by 16 is 1 times 100. The CPI for the base year is clearly 100. This is the basis on which we can calculate changes in the CPI and determine how much inflation there is in years moving forward. For 2017, we had a price of 2050. We can calculate the CPI by dividing the price of the basket of goods in 2017 by the price of the basket of goods in our base year of $16 and multiplying that result by 100. Let's do that calculation now. Okay, we've got 2050 divided by $16 gives us 1.28, multiply that by 100, and we get 128.125. So the CPI for 2017 is 128.125. We're just going to round that to 128 for the sake of simplicity. Now we can calculate the CPI for 2018. We take the price of the basket of goods in 2018, that's 1950, $19.50, and divide it by the price in 2016, which was $16. We'll multiply that by 100. We've got $19.50 divided by 16 gives us 1.21875. Multiply that by 100, we get 121.875. Let's round this one to 122. So now we have our CPIs for each of the years. Notice that the CPI increases between 2016 and 2017, and then the CPI decreases between 2017 and 2018. In our next video, we'll use these consumer price indexes to calculate the level of inflation or deflation between two years. Here we go.